Good day, good day, royal fans. Today's headline. Meghan Markle and Harry have been accused of trying to drown King Charles under massive amounts of pressure. Royal commentator and expert Jonathan Sacerdoti issued these warnings and said, 2023 will be a year of first for King Charles. So everything he does will be looked at as an indication of how he wants things to be in the future. That might put a lot of pressure on him, but I think he also will want to make clear how he wants to do things in the future. And that means he and his team will think very carefully about the decisions they make and what messages those decisions send out. The expert also noted the question of reshuffling that's incoming and claimed. He will need to decide if the institution needs to be further streamlined or not. And because everyone is now ser serving in a world without his mother, they will, they will all be doing things a little bit differently. Queen Margaret downsized the Danish royal family and in 2019, King Carl Gustav of Sweden removed royal status from five of his grandchildren. Might King Charles look to do something similar to both lighter the, lighten the pressure on members of the family and also to help keep support for the monarchy more broadly? Prince Harry has spoken most vocally about the pressures he felt growing up as a royal, so perhaps he has made the strongest case for this, albeit unintentional. Succession is a time for progression, and so it goes without saying that because we have a new king, things will be done differently in some ways. But monarchy also stands for continuity. So much will also seem familiar, and that will be an important balancing act. Meanwhile, King Charles has been warned for more fire from his son Prince Harry and daughter-in-law Meghan Markle in the future. Royal expert Daniela Alsa has warned the king to expect more from California-based royal couple in the future after the Netflix series and Harry's memoir Spare is out. Daniela warned the monarch and Harry and Meghan look set to continue revealing more about the king and the family. She said, There is also the fact that the Sussexes' money-making ventures have largely hinged thus far on their willingness to liberally dish the royal dirt, and it's hard to see this changing. All of this essentially translates to King Charles taking even more fire from his son and daughter-in-law in the future, and yet he is largely hamstrung as to how to respond. If he publicly pushes back, it just gives oxygen to the PR fire. But if he says nothing, he neither challenges their accusations nor seems to care. Meanwhile, according to reports, Meghan is also preparing for her own memoir after Harry's spare. She is planning on leaving no stone unturned as she contemplates writing her tell-all. Damn, son. All right, guys, royal news for today. Please do like, comment and subscribe for more. Goodbye for now.